Right, okay, big biscuit project always throws a lot of, at us. Um, problems that we have to overcome, which is good. <laughs> so, this is um, a party ring that one of the students has made and we have sewn the inside first. We want to sew the whole thing in, in, in one go. I'm hoping that I'll get no other calls because every time I get a call, it disrupts the video. So let's try and just get this done. So I have labeled this, I've labeled it number one there, one there and one there, just for sewing purposes really. I've labeled it all the way around so that um, I know where I've got to be when I've turned it all inside out because that is the complicated part. So we have got, um, these are all in line. And what we're going to do now, so the aim is, is to get this part onto the underneath part. So I've got to move this number one part underneath. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide that part underneath and I'm keeping hold of this number one. This is like the top. And then I'm going to pull all this into the middle and there is my number one. Okay, that's the right side. That's the right side of my cushion and this is the right side of the top. And that goes there and all the rest is in between. So we're going to sew this around here. Now, I've done some samples earlier um, I dare say this is going to be much more complicated, but um, I'll try and persevere. My pins aren't very good. They're a little bit thin for this purpose. I would recommend some proper dressmaker's pins if you are doing anything thick like this. This has got two layers of wadding in. So um, it's gonna cause some problems, but we can deal with that. Uh, right, am I doing that the right way? Yes, I am. Always remember to pin the way that you're sewing. So, I'm just kind of putting this together a little bit now. I might have to move some of these pins out. But I just want to get it kind of about where I need it. So I've got a, no a number six label around here which is there. So I've got a number six there and a number six there. So I know that one goes there. Um, the problem with this one is going to be, um, as you sew round, you have to keep pulling it through. sew a little bit more, pull it through. I don't know if you've ever done a sleeve, a bag sleeve like that, but it's the same, it's the same kind of thing. Just want to make sure this is all going to be sitting right because you know how things move. And the calico underneath is pretty solid, but we all know what this stuff is like. It just moves around. So I think I'm pretty there, pretty much there. Probably if I was doing this again, I'd put a few more marks on, some little notches or something, but I think they're gonna be okay. It just stretches, cheap. It's a little bit of a cheap satin, stretches a little bit. But I think we'll, we'll be okay. So, um, yeah, I think that will, I think we'll be able to stretch that out. So that's kind of what this looks like. And then obviously this is all going to be pinned over here. I know it looks very fiddly and I know it's going to be a little bit horrendous when I get this under a machine. And it looks a little bit like a pasty. So there's my number two. And there should be a number two here, which is here. I feel like I'm wrestling a bear. Ooh, okay. So that all gets pinned 
like that and obviously you can fast forward with this because we're just pinning and as I say uh, I did a couple of samples earlier because I couldn't make head and tail of um, some of the videos I was watching and I knew that once I get this under the machine that I'm I'm going to be fighting a little bit and what I'll probably have to do is just go around undo some of these pins and then pull the rest through so that's kind of what it looks like it looks like a pasty um, and then we're just going to continue to sew and this is where the, the struggle comes in is because I have to keep pulling this bit out and this is what you do you pull that bit out and you pull that bit out and you just continue to sew I don't think yours will probably be as difficult as this because I'm sure you're not, you know, well, this is a project that we do and, um, you know, we don't like to say to them, no, you can't make it that big. So this is what we do. Um, I know I'm not finishing this off very well and you're going to say, well, it's, um, you know, we don't know what comes next. So. I've made this little one. I will I will try and video this for you. It's very difficult because I've just got my phone on a tripod and it, and it doesn't, it's not the phone for the tripod or the tripod's not for the phone. So this is, this is what it looks like. So you've got your cut piece here. Okay, so the, you, you're on the inside and you're sewing right sides together. So this is what we've got here. We've got this cut piece here and you can see that I have just sewn this whole thing and this is what you have to kind of do is um, you know you're sewing all around these edges here and you just have to keep pulling it through and sewing and pulling it through and sewing and then eventually when you've done all that this whole thing just bags out okay but I will take the tripod into the other sewing room. I can't sew in this room because they're just domestic machines and I don't think I'm, I'll, I'll, be, I will struggle to get that, that under a machine. Okay. And that's kind of what it looks like. I've not finished sewing that, obviously. Um, it's a bit blue peterish. I did one here as well, which just looks like that. And this is the little bit that I've left to uh, machine sew. You can hand sew it, but I, 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 I prefer to machine sew it. Um, and I hope that helps a little bit. And I'm going to go next door now and try and sew this up.